Hey everyone, welcome back to another scrapbook process video and thanks for joining me again today. So today, again, I am using the Family Fun Collection by Simple Stories. Um, I did one layout with this so far and I think just one. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Um, another disclosure again, <laughs> I am really in this mode of where I do the layouts and then like two or three weeks later, I actually get around to doing the voiceovers. So I don't re quite remember. I need to be a little better. I have been better about keeping the layout by me, but this one is already put away and I didn't want to pull it out. So bear with me on this if I don't remember everything. Um, trying to be a little bit better about not waiting so long in between, but it's just, it is what it is, right? <laughs> Anyways, I am following a sketch by Scrapbook Generation. And again, it is a paid for sketch, so I can't show you guys the sketch. I change the sketches that I use around quite a bit though. So sometimes I'm really close on to what I do with the sketch. And other times I am very, you know, I just basically when I'm looking at a sketch, what I look at is the photo placement and maybe the pattern papers or papers where the papers can go. But a lot of times I have all my sketches separated by the number of photos. So I don't have to, you know, when I like it, that's the biggest thing I think that draws me to a sketch is the number of photos. Um, you can change around your photos, the number of photos, you know, if it calls for three, four by six photos, you could get two, four, six, three by four photos in place of those four by six photos. So I don't 100% follow them for that, but I do take a lot of inspiration. You're going to see because I actually, there's one part in this where I kind of didn't really think about it because that's what I'm doing is I'm changing around some of the photos, like the sizes and the direction, um, horizontal versus vertical. So I didn't even think about it when I was doing this layout, but I fill it in and it works out perfect and I'm quite happy with this layout. I'm gonna apologize right now because I closed my door so I could do this voiceover and it's fun time for Kitty. <laughs> His game is to, especially at night to my son, um, he likes to scratch and meow at the bedroom doors. Um, my door is pretty much always open. So, you know, it's mostly my son. He does it too, but he likes to scratch at closed doors. But when you open it to either let him in, he only wants in for a minute or he runs away when you open the door and it's a game. Um, it's rather entertaining, but <laughs> I guess that's what I get for laughing when he does it to my son. So, um, anyways. If you hear a scratching noise, I'm not even going to indulge the cat right now, and I'm just going to let him do his thing. <laughs> All right, so this collection, I love it. I I did eventually put it away. Um, I kind of was just gotten to this, like, not inspired to do anything. I put this collection away, and I pulled out a very old, close to my heart, you know, workshop where it basically tells you how to cut everything and how to put everything together. And I did that. And that's what I've been working on for about a week now. Um, it's actually taking a little longer than I originally expected, but I, as much as I love this collection and I'm enjoying using it, I know this is one that I will never get tired of because my family is a gaming family. We, we do a lot of things. We do the bowling. We, you know, we don't, We've gone mini golf and I think I was a little disappointed because this collection even has mini golf and I had pictures for mini golf, but I found out that I had already scrapped up them and I was like, oh man, bummer. But I mean, anyways, we're a gaming family. Um, these are pictures of us playing Monopoly. So I'm not worried about this collection getting old to me. Um, I will pull it back out at some point. I do have a few layouts to show you guys though. I think I have at least three more at this point. But I'm just letting you guys know that I did put this away for a little while. Um, there's just so many collections to choose from, right? Like, let me know below. What do you guys do? How do you choose what, if you scrap by collection like I do, how do you choose what you're going to work on? And 
yeah, I just, sometimes it's easier and sometimes it's not right. So, and you know, you guys know the new doodle bug that's actually here and don't worry. I will get to the new doodle bug, but I actually even received that from Michelle and I haven't pulled it out and haven't wanted to work with it yet. I know, I know. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not sick. <laughs> Anyways, um, I will pull that out though. I am getting a little more inspired. I'm working on one thing right now and then I might actually finally pull that out. But let's talk about this layout. So that space that you can see on the right hand side, now that I remember, I actually didn't leave that there. I thought that I was going to actually use one of those journaling cards to fill in that spot. And I'm thinking that black journaling card that you saw that I was kind of playing around with it a moment ago, that was my, what I was thinking as far as what I was going to put there. But you're going to see how that kind of changes pace here in just a moment. So you know, again, silly photos of my family, but I love it. We we played Monopoly. Um, yeah, I don't know who came up with Monopoly, but I don't like you. <laughs> no, I Monopoly is hard. Um, first of all, doesn't it take forever to play? And I'm not vicious. I don't like to go, you know, one person gets good property and the game basically goes to them and yeah, it was quite the night, but we had a lot of fun anyway. We haven't played it since then, just so you know. <laughs> the funny story about this Monopoly is these photos, I took these photos on, I believe it's February 15th, because on February 14th, Valentine's Day, we lost power here. And, you know, you can go to the PGE or whatever power app that, you know, or website, and they say power is not coming back on until you know, this time or that time. Well, it was like three or four days that it was saying we were going to be out of power. Everybody was out of power everywhere. It's because we had kind of some snow and ice, which was another thing. We It was snowing and icy. Um, a lot of areas around here got snow that day. We got ice. Um, it was kind of half melted by the evening, but that was a lot of the reason everything was down. So since we had no idea when we were getting power back on, we went out, we tried to find dinner. Um, that was a whole nother story. Uh, it, we tried to find dinner and we decided to pick up Monopoly. The boys, for some reason, really wanted to get Monopoly to play while the power was out. So by the time we got home, though, our power was back on. So we decided that we would play with the boys the next night. I believe it's the next night. It was the next few nights if it wasn't the exact next night. So anyways, um, that is where I am filling in this spot here. And it's a little bit of, I ended up going with this dark blue paper and you can see if you look at it close enough that it's not even with this black paper. Um, I, you know, first I thought, do I do anything with it? And then I thought, you know what, whatever, I'm going to leave it. It is what it is. And that's something that would normally really bother me, but I think that I don't, I didn't even remember that I did it. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And the main reason I changed is because that game night, first of all, I have the title game night, so I didn't really want to use the same title game night, but it was black and that black star paper was black and it didn't stand out very much to me. I tried mounting it or matting it, but it just didn't look right. So I just left it and I decided not to use that journaling card and trying to use the tag paper. I don't know if you guys have gotten any Simple Stories collections lately, but they've included a paper that's all tags and one side is blank and the other side is like um, decoration or, you know, like not decoration, but you know what I mean? It's patterned. That's what I'm trying to think of. Um, 
And so I thought I'd pull out a couple tags and try to use them. You guys know I'm not huge on tags, but what I really liked about that tag on the left was that it brings over that star paper from the very right, and it brings the black more over that way. So the left-hand side is very bright, fun, white kind of background colored, and then on go over towards the right and it gets to the blue and then the black and it's very dark, but bringing that black over to the left hand side just really kind of brings that over. So, and then I thought I would just add another tag, you know, just kind of as a cluster base on the right hand side and it kind of helps cover up a little bit of the stuff over there. So, um, or like the, where the paper doesn't line up and all that. So I went for it, you know, thought I'd try something different for once. And now I'm just playing with all the pieces. I want to say this was one of the first layouts I did, so I had plenty of stuff to use. Um, I still have plenty. I'm working on not buying everything from a collection, maybe. Um, a little bit, <laughs> you know, Doodlebug, I'm pretty bad about that. But, you know, trying to be better about not overbuying. Um, and realizing that there's going to be always some paper to use and, you know, things like that. So that's one thing I have kind of been working on and buying smarter. Definitely. That's something I've been working on. So I'm going to add this little strip of tags. Um, I'm adding this here because I wanted the title game night up there. First of all, it just kind of gave a little bit of interest, but second of all, if you look at that photo on the left-hand side, it is um, a little bit higher up than the photos on the right because I gave it a mat because I wanted that photo to st stand out a little bit more. And um, so I that strip actually really kind of fills something in. It brings that yellow color up there really well. And it's just a little bit of added interest. So I it went there really well. Um, the only thing why I'm kind of moving it over to the left a little bit is because it did cover up my son's head in that one photo a little bit. And um, take a look at the photos. Uh, you will see down below the one photo that's a close up of the like the people that you can be for. I'm sorry, I can't remember the word for the when you're playing. And I actually, you know, I took that photo just for fun, but I really like the way it looks. And it makes me remember that when I played, I decided I was going to be the hat, the uh, dog and the car, I think. So I stuck them all together. And <laughs> for a while, that's how I played was with them stacked like that. And I think somebody else stacked something too, but I was just doing it to be funny, but it let it go on for a little while. Um, but anyway, so, you know, when you're taking pictures, try taking it from a few different angles. I mean, worst case scenario, you delete the photo, right? So um, I am going to use more of this sticker book. I have to say, I mentioned it in another video that these stickers are very thin and it's really disappointing because I really like this sticker book. Like I think you, if you wanted to get a few papers from this collection and just the sticker book, you could, but they're so thin and flimsy. I really hope that they changed the way. I know they had a lot of problems with getting this collection in. Um, this was supposed to be released in May and it didn't get tell anybody till like August, you know, so I know that they had problems, but I really hope that that is something that they work on because the stickers were great. You got more than you did like in the ephemera pack or on the sticker sheet itself there was just different ones that I really liked. So, um, yeah, I just hope that they, the stickers aren't bad. I won't say don't buy them at all. They're just, just be aware that they're not cardstock at all. But anyways, oh, well, I'm still going to use it because I bought it and, you know, I probably won't buy another one in the future, but it is what it is. All right, now I'm just working on my clusters. So I'm going to have a cluster here on the bottom right, and then I'm going to have a cluster over there by the journaling tag. And then I'm going to have a cluster up there by the title. And I really like that stripe strip. Again, whatever sketch I was following from, that's probably, you know, Scrapbook Generation with their sketches, they quite often have a stripe strip 
And I, but I really like how it kind of goes through the layout. I feel like this layout has a different vibe than I normally do. Um, so I really kind of like that. And yeah, I'm just kind of playing around with the clusters. I am going to stack up. There's different games. I really wanted to add in the games. There's lots of things I'm adding. Like you can see this little sorry, these little sorry pieces that are on there from the game. Sorry, we're not playing sorry, but it still goes with the whole game night feel. So I'm leaving those on there. And then um, I'm adding some dice around, you know, and then the camera at the top and just fun little elements. I am going to... I believe I type my journaling up um, onto the tag that's on the left. That's one thing I'm really, I enjoy typed journaling and not because I so much hate my handwriting, but because I just feel like when I have more to say, you can get more on there. Um, I really wanted to use the brads, but I don't think that the brads get put on there. Um, you know, this cluster was kind of throwing me off a little bit. I think it was because of the shape of that game board. Um, again, that's not a Monopoly game board, but I don't really care. Um, so I'm I'm just playing around. And I really actually like how it all comes together. What I end up doing, I think, is taking some of these games. I had originally cut this sticker apart. It was like a stack of games that's on the, like, just like the one that's on the left. So the one I'm working with right now is a sticker, and the one on the left is a um, ephemera piece. So I really wanted to use these games, and I, these actually fit in there really well. Um, I think I do change the ones on the left. I can't remember, but I didn't want the exact same games. And they had a different stack. I think the other stack might possibly have been from that sticker book, but I can't remember. We'll figure it out as we go. I did add a couple of dice into each cluster um, because I had dice on there. I thought, hey, why not, right? And also to kind of break it up a little bit, you can see I did add some word free stickers here, or these are actually ephemera pieces. Um, but I know they're not really part of the cluster, but they're near the cluster. And for some reason, I just really like how they kind of filled in that space there. Um, so that's just a way to say don't be afraid to kind of span your clusters don't all have to touch not everything in them has to touch sometimes it looks better when they're touching so when you're working on a cluster try putting the stuff touching and then spread maybe a couple of things out and see which one you like better um so that technically in my opinion especially now that i added those stars there was one cluster but Again, it's just because it's all spread out, it looks a little better. So just give it a try and play around a little bit. Here's where I was. These are the games I was talking about on this hand. And luckily, so I was wrong. This is an FM piece too, I believe. And it is different games. So I'm glad that they added a different s stack of games. Um, so I'm going to put this stack of games over here because it fit, you know, again, it's a little different than the stack of games that's on the right hand side. And there I was right. I did type up my journaling. And so that is on the card or the tag already. And I know I can't remember how I end up doing it if I use enamel dots or what, but Originally, I was thinking maybe I could add brads in the little centers of the tags, the little circle parts. And I know, I think one side, it looked really rather good. And the other side, I didn't really care for the way it looked. Um, so I can't remember what I do add for those. We'll have to take a look at that. Um, but again, this cluster is kind of spanning. Not everything is touching. Um, these are puffy stickers, by the way, and their puffy stickers actually seem to stick pretty darn good, but I am definitely a stickler for adding extra adhesive because I do, for, and I think it's my area. Not everybody's going to have the same result, but I really 
I have stuff fall off of layouts that are older and I've even had stuff fall off of stuff that's not that old, like maybe one to two years. So I just add an extra glue wherever I can. And you know, the one, two seconds that it takes for me to add a little dot of glue now saves a lot of time when going through your layouts later and having to re-glue a ton of stuff on a ton of layouts. So that's the way I look at it. Um, yeah, I think that that's basically all I do. Again, I do add something to the tags, the little circle parts on the tags, and I'm sorry I can't remember what those are called either. Um, you guys are probably used to my lack of words anyway. <laughs> So I'm surprised that sometimes I'm even able to make these videos and that you guys actually watch. <laughs> but um, looking at it and I, yeah, I really, I think that other than adding a few stars around, um, I did add that row of stars into the, across those yellow tags. And oh, look, I do actually, I think this is the side that I really couldn't decide on but I knew that I'd already glued down the one on the left-hand side. And not only that, but I didn't want to add thread or string in it. But so I just went with it. I just used the black because whatever, it kind of was the most disguised. So that is the layout. I hope you guys enjoyed this layout. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking in there with me. Um, let me know if you got this collection and what you've done with it, if you've gotten it, and how you decide what you are going to work on next um, when you are scrapbooking. I'd love to hear that. So I'm sure other people could probably take inspiration from it as well. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.